Welcome dear audience, students and scholars. Here I am Dr. Amjad Ali. In this video we will learn my years of income uh, except GDP. The national income accounts includes other my years of income that differ slight in definition from GDP. It is important to be aware of the various my years because economists and the press often refer to them to see how the alternative measures of income relate to one another we start with gdp and add or subtract variance quantity so first we are uh, discussing uh, gross national product that is gnp to obtain gross national product we add receipts of factor income wages profit and rent from the rest of the world and subtract payments of factor uh, income to the rest of the world. The formula for the GNP is equal to GDP plus factor payment from abroad minus factor payment to the abroad. Okay, where the GDP measures the total income produced domestically, GNP measures the total income earned by the national resident to a nation for example if a pakistani resident own an apartment building in in london the rental income he or she earns is a part of uh, uh, <coughs> part of england gdp because it is earned in england but uh, uh, because this rental income is a factor payment to abroad it is not part of england gnp in england factor payment from abroad and factor payment to abroad are similar in size each representing about three percent of gdp so gdp and gnp are quite closer to one another Another uh, type of the income measure that is na a net national product that is NNP to obtain uh, NNP we subtract the depreciation of the capital the, the amount of the economy's stock of uh, plant or equipment or residential structure that wears out during the year. So the formula for the NNP, NNP is equal to GDP minus uh, depreciation in, uh, in the national income account depreciation is called the consumption of fixed capital. It equals about 10% of GNP because the depreciation of capital is a cost of producing the output of the economy subtracting depreciation show the net results of economic activity. <coughs> Another type is of the income that is national income. National income, or uh, are, are are we, we are discussing about the net the national product is approximately equal to another measure that is national income. The two differs by a small correction called a seasonal or uh, sorry statistical discrepancy which arises because different data sources may not be completely consistent so national income measures how much everyone in the economy has earned while talking about the national income account it is divided uh, uh, into uh, six components that depending upon how earns the income so the six categories and the percentage of the national income paid in each category we are here uh, compensation of employee that is 63.7 percent the wages and the which benefits earned by the workers proprietors income that is 8.6 percent the, the income of the non-corporate businesses such as small for, uh, firms uh, small stores and the and different uh, form uh, based on the partnership like law partnership uh, earn 8.6 percent so rental income that is 0.3 percent the income that the landlord received uh, including the imputed rent that uh, home owners pay to themselves less expensive such as depreciation here we have the corporate profit that is 13.4 percent the income of corporation after payments to their workers and creditors that is 13.4 percent net interest that is 5.4 percent the interest domestic 
businesses pay minus the interest they receive plus interest earned from the foreigners so that is 5.4 percent and indirect business taxes that is 8.6 percent certain taxes on businesses such as sales uh, uh, sales taxes uh, less offsetting business subsidies these taxes place a wedge uh, between the price that the consumer pay for a good and the price that the firm receive here we have another type of the income that is personal income a series of adjustments take uh, as from national income to personal income, the amount of income that household and non-corporate businesses receive uh, for of these adjustments are more more important. The first one uh, subtract indirect tax from the businesses uh, business tax because these taxes never enter anyone's income. The second is reduce national income by the amount that corporation earn but do not pay out either because the corporations are retaining uh, earnings or because they are paying taxes to the government this adjustment is made by subtracting corporate profits and adding back the dividend the third adjustment that is increased national income uh, by the net amount that the governments uh, pays out in the in the transfer transfer payments this adjustment equals government uh, transfer to individual minus social insurance uh, contribution paid to the government and the fourth adjustment mm, this adjustment is made by adding personal interest income and subtracting net uh, interest uh, <coughs> And the difference between the personal interest and the net interest arises in a part because interest on the government debt is a part of the interest that household earn but is not part of the interest that the businesses pay out. Here the uh, formula for the personal income that uh, personal income is equal to uh, national income minus in uh, indirect businesses taxes uh, minus corporate profits minus social insurance con uh, contributions minus net interest and plus dividend plus uh, government transfers to individual and plus personal interest income so if we sub subtract uh, personal tax payments and certain non uh, payments to the government such as parking ticket we obtain disposable personal income the disposable per person income actually our main target is to find out the disposable income the disposable income formula becomes as disposable personal income is equal to personal income minus personal tax and non tax payments we are actually interested in disposable personal income because it is the amount of household and non-corporate businesses uh, have available to spend uh, after satisfying their tax obligation to the government so here we have some other seasonal adjustment because real GDP and the other measures of income reflect how well the economy is performing uh, economists are interested in study uh, studying the quarter to quarter fluctuation in macroeconomic variable so uh, when we start to do so one fact uh, leaps out that all these measures of income exhibit a regular seasonal pattern the output of the economy uh, rises during the year reaching a peak in the fourth quarter and then falling in the first quarter and uh, of the, uh, uh, moreover on the next year also these regular seasonal changes are substantial from uh, from uh, from the fourth quarter to the first quarter real GDP falls on average around 8% it is not surprising that real GDP follows a seasonal uh, cycle some of these changes are attributable uh, to changes in our in our ability to produce itself for example the building homes is more difficult during the cold weather of winter than and then uh, during other other seasons.
In addition, uh, people have a seasonal taste. They have preferred time for uh, for different activities like vacations and some uh, cultural events also. So. Uh, when economists studies uh, fluctuation in real GDP and other economic variable, they often want to eliminate the portion of fluctuation due to predictable seasonal changes. And you will find that most of economic statistics reported in newspapers are technically are seasonally adjusted. So this means that the data uh, have been adjusted to remove the regular seasonal fluctuation. Um, the pre uh, precise statistical procedure used to uh, to elaborate or to, uh, uh, to focus for the adjusting of these uh, values. So therefore, when you observe a rise or fall in real GDP or any other data series, you must look beyond the seasonal uh, cycle of the uh, uh, cycles for the explanation of that particular macroeconomic variable. So this is all about some other measures of income except GDP. So see you with another video. Ciao.